Alright, 6T70. Go ahead and mark our studs. Ten millimeters. Plug our speed sensors and our neutral switch. Depending on the year that you got, is you gotta slide this gray connector or uh, lock over, and then you can disconnect this. Depending on the year that you got, is uh, what bolts you're gonna have where. The earlier models, these were all tens. Eight millimeter on our detent. Pull this little shield off of here. It keeps fluid around there so it keeps that cooled down. Alright. Eight here. Ten millimeters here. Ten millimeter on the speed sensor. The speed sensor comes out with the rear cover. You can pull the neutral switch out if you want to don't have to. I use a heel bar. I just get in there. Pull this nail out. Just leave the park rod up in there. There's a little seal that goes in the case. Thirteen millimeters on the case. Flip this up on its face. Ten millimeters on the back cover.
You don't need to take the speed sensor out unless you're going to replace it. There's no need to take these pistons out unless you're going to replace them. drum off to the side. Got a bearing on this sun shell. Make sure our teeth are not all eat up. And gears okay. Pay particular attention to your cushion plates, make sure they're not cracked. And then I mark my sprag at the bottom so I know exactly where to put it back so it saves me time. Now I've never seen any of this stuff bad yet unless one of these bearings fails and then it's all wiped out. It's usually either good or it's bad. everything is bad. If it's got a problem, your grooves facing down. And our opening for the snap ring is at the uh, 12 o'clock position and this little tab right here fits in that slot right there. Make sure our sprags turn in counterclockwise and locking clockwise. You gotta try to come up as straight as you can. It'll get stuck. I've been running into quite a few of these with these clutches when they start burning it, it makes this uh, plate right here crack. Another two bearings in here. other planet another sun shell another set of clutches make sure that cushion plates not broke and our opening usually is down here at the uh, at the five o'clock position. Pull the snap ring off. We got a bevel plate and a piston. Yeah, this hub bearing on each side. Alright, we're going to flip this back over. I uh, might be able to just get it off right here. I'm going to pop our case off. Chevy's have a gasket. Ford's have silicone that holds it together.
park rod in there, you can leave all that stuff in there, as long as everything's okay. Got a lube tube here, transfer gear, and it's okay, our differential. Ten millimeter on the oil baffle. Ten millimeters on the pump. Filter. I have yet to have one of these pumps that was bad. I don't even take them apart as long as it's pumping good. Feels okay. I just leave it alone. Thirteen millimeters. Those early ones had a bolt here, and in between where they got rid of it, there was still a bolt hole here, and it was still threaded, but it didn't take a bolt. Pay close attention to this bushing in here. Make sure it's not worn out. Make sure our tubes aren't broke, but I've never seen one broke. Here's our chain assembly for our pump. It's a plastic washer on each gear. Let that drain. Bring out and allow the hub to come out. The bearing on the back. Now there's a snap ring here. We're gonna have to take off to get the piston out. In order to get these clutches off, we have to take this off back here. When you press this down, don't go too far and break this tab off. Okay. Pull your piston off the back. Get our return spring. And then you flip it over. And you can pull this snap ring out. And that allow these clutches to come off. Whether this plate is broke or not, replace this 3-5 reverse cushion plate. Got our molded piston. And then we're going to need our cover. Get the piston out of there. Right. Let's see if we have uh, pressure switches on the back of our Tecum. And we do not, so we don't need that. Alright, let me go write this one up.
I'm going to do an LS kit, filter, a zip kit, 3.5 reverse cushion plate. Couldn't read the code on the converter, so when I can't do that, I just uh, tell them which way the fins are leaning. And it's leaning to the left on this one.